Hi folks, it's William with Lodestone, here once again with another quick tip for you. Today's quick tip comes to us from Adobe Illustrator. And what I wanted to show you uh, in this particular episode is one of my favorite features of Adobe Illustrator. Now this has come along in the last oh, several versions of Illustrator. It wasn't here very early on, uh, but it's been around for some time now, and it's called Isolation Mode. So what I have here on screen is actually two shapes, uh, and I'm just going to keep this simple for right now. I've got a green rectangle sitting on top of a blue rectangle. They both have a little bit of a transparent effect to them, and uh, that way we can kind of see through them. Now, whether you have transparency on or off doesn't really matter uh, for this particular um, isolation mode. Um, what I want to get at here is the fact that, well, how are these uh, two elements uh, set up? I mean, if we were to take Illustrator apart and, and see these things, say, in 3D, what would this look like? Okay, so I'm going to select these elements. And I have a little appearance here, a little 3D appearance, and I'm going to flip that on real quick. And so basically that green object is sitting in front of or on top of the blue object. And let's say that I wanted to modify the blue object without modifying the green object. Okay, So I would select it and I would make a change. But there's only a certain number of changes that I could maybe make effectively. Because a good portion of the blue object is being covered up by the green object. So isolation mode will help me get beyond this particular barrier. Now, it also helps me with another barrier, and that's groups. Let's take a look at some more artwork here, and let's see isolation mode in action. So here I have some slightly more complicated artwork. And what I want to do here is take a look at one of those hex nuts that's, well, it's behind everything else. So I can select, say, this hex nut here. And I'm going to just drag it kind of over here. And I want to put it uh, right here. So these two objects are kind of sitting right on top of each other, but they're both behind, say, the wrench and the nail. So what I want to do is modify this one here in the center. Okay. Well, I can select it, I can see it, so it's easy to select. I can see the outlines of it, but a good portion of it is being covered up by the wrench. Now, I could, you know, maybe arrange this, bring it to the front, but then I have to try to arrange it to get it back in its stacking position here, in front of the other hex nut, but behind the other object. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to play a little game there of, you know, bring forward, send backward kind of a deal. So, isolation mode helps me with that. What I'm going to do is simply double click on this particular hex nut. When I do, I enter into isolation mode. All the other objects on the screen have been grayed out. And if I try to select them, I cannot. So I'm just clicking around the screen here trying to select these other elements. And I cannot because I'm in isolation mode. Now this particular hex nut is actually several different little graphics that have been grouped together. So that's another challenge here, is how do I edit a single member of a group? Maybe I just wanted to change the shadow color on the hex nut. Well, since it's grouped together, I can't edit just the shadows. But now that I'm in isolation mode, I can. So once I'm in isolation mode, I can mouse over the individual members of the group and select them. So if I select that interior shadow, I'll just change it to a gray. I'll do the exterior shadow, I'll change it to a dark gray, and I could just keep working with this. If I wanted to change the uh, this kind of medium tone here to more of a neutral gray, I can do that. And then maybe this lightest tone here to a much lighter gray like so. And so now I'm actually editing the individual members of the group. The other really cool thing is that I can actually add to this group. So let's say just for whatever reason, I wanted to add a member to this group. Maybe I wanted to put a little identifier here on the, the edge of the hex nut here. I'll just draw a little uh, rectangle here and maybe just uh, fill it with some red here. Okay. Just like a little micro dot there. All right. Now I'm finished editing the members of this group. I'm through editing. I'm, I want to escape out of this isolation mode. To do that, it's just as easy as entering into isolation mode. I double clicked on the object to open isolation mode or enter into isolation mode. So if I double click anywhere other than the object, I exit isolation mode. And now that I'm out of isolation mode, 
this hex nut has been grouped back together. And if I slide it over here out of the way, we can see that little red identifier is now part of that group. So that's this week's quick tip. Isolation mode. I love it, and I think you will too. For more information about Adobe Illustrator and Adobe's other tools, be sure to check us out on the web at lodestone.com.